Good afternoon, guys. Um, happy International Red Sneaker Day. I do not own a pair of red sneakers yet. I have a pair of red and white striped ones that my friends Don and Laura Soleri got me. Um, but I'm on the hunt for a pair of red sneakers. I have a book called A Pair of Red Sneakers. It's written by Lisa Lawston and the pictures are by B.B. Sams. And I'm dedicating this book, this reading to Dawn and Laura Soleri. I'm wondering if they have a pair of sneakers like this little boy is looking for. A pair of red sneakers. May I help you? The man in the sneaker store said. Yes, replied Miles. I know what I want and I want them in red. The sneaker with long attachable toes for building tree houses with views of rainbows. See those? <laughs> for swinging off branches to neighboring trees where they'll offer me donuts and crackers and cheese. The sneaker with circular suction cup grips for windy day sailing on slippery ships with inflatable floats propelled by small motors and a compass for saving lost fish and stray boaters. The sneaker with bouncers for jumping and soaring, with oversized pouncers for safely exploring basketball hoops, rooftops, and stars, the Statue of Liberty and life on Mars. The sneaker that has four adjustable wheels for rolling and gliding through parks and through fields, the self-balancing kind that prevent nasty spills round the sharpest of curves, down the steepest of hills. The sneaker with star-studded parachute ties for diving or gliding through sunshiny skies with umbrella pop-ups in case it should rain and fast flapping wings to fly back to the plane so that you can dive off again and again. The sneaker, the shoe with the tough attitude for when bullying bullies is what you must do. With shark jaws, it retrieves your lunch from your foe, then chomps on his backpack and stomps on his toe. The sneaker that's said to be truly amazing if the Amazon jungle is where you're trailblazing. <clears throat> with tarantula... <laughs> With tarantula whistles, mosquito confusers, jaguar reflectors, and boa amusers. The sneaker with rubbery racer tips for rubbing out traffic on long family trips, for rubbing out spinach or meat on your plate and erasing those messes that mom and dad hate. The sneaker, the pair with the bubblegum blocks for scaling and clinging to treacherous rocks, for exploring Spike Mountain and Percival's Peak with enough gum left over to chew for a week. The sneaker, the pair it's a comfort to wear when visiting doctors or the dentist big chair. They quietly soothe, adhere to your feet and hug toes and soles till your visit's complete. The sneaker designed for prancing, enhancing, rapping, tapping, jazzing, and dancing. The ballet sneaker for showing your guests the springiest, wingingest, best pirouettes. The sneaker, the one with the mega speed pack for racing and running and staying on track. Programmed to win, they press on till you've won. Then 10 little fans cool your toes when you're done. That is the sneaker I want, please, Mild said. I want that sneaker and I want it in red. The man in the sneaker store answered directly. The sneaker you want, if I heard you correctly, is that stunning, stupendous, sensational sneaker. The one with outrageous and notable features like attachable toes, suction cup grips, inflatable floats, rubberized tips, bouncers, pouncers, adjustable wheels, fans for your toes, 
but not for your heels, umbrella pop-ups, parachute ties, fast flapping wings in case you should fly, the danciest sneakers, a comfort to wear with bubblegum blocks and bubbles to spare, the sneaker with attitude, it's great for trailblazing the light compact sneaker that's truly amazing. That the sneaker that offers the largest collection of plentiful patterns and color selections like tidal wave turquoise, angel wing white, orange daredevil, fuchsia le fright, purple perfection, leopardy spots, three shades of paisley, pink polka dots, crack, crackling yellow, cloud climbing blue, swinging sienna, black bubbly too four perky plaids, fresh Martian green, and all of the patterns and shades in between. However, the man in the sneaker store said, we're completely sold out of that sneaker in red. Sold out, Miles said with a shake of his head as he stared at the pile of rubber and thread. What good is a sneaker if it isn't red? And he went on to buy blue sandals instead. But look at those blue sandals. They're like little rockets. And he's racing right out of the shoe store. He looks happy with them though. So Dawn and Laura, do you have red sneakers like that that do all those things? I might have to call you to find out. All right, I hope you guys love that book. I thought it was pretty funny. Have a great afternoon. It's really windy out there. I'm sure some of you have baseball and softball games. Don't blow away. And I'll see you here tomorrow morning. It's going to be Friday. Yay. Bye.